Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to apply your DIY extension lashes from Blinky Fly. I used the No Fly Ultra Stick Adhesive Glue, and this time I am using The Kitten from Blinky Fly. As you can see, you will receive three at home extension lashes from Blinky Fly. And what I first like to do is I'll go ahead and grab one of the lashes and I'll start taking off the adhesive that is attached to the lashes. You'll notice that it's really sticky and it's, it's just easy to come off. And I use about three long lashes from Linky Fly to fit my eyes. So I'll just use three of these lashes and I just take off the adhesive that's on there. And if there's any sort of like little Mm, I don't know, like a fishing line looking thing sticking out, then I cut those off too. But in this case, I didn't really have to. I just had to take off the adhesive. And what I like to do is I like to prepare both of the eyelashes, like the right side and the left side, before I start applying um, the DIY extension lashes. Once I prepare all my lashes, I'll go ahead and use an eyelash curler and I'll go ahead and curl my natural eyelashes. And once it's curled, I'll go ahead and use the No Fly Ultra Stick Adhesive Glue, which looks like mascara. Um, and you'll just apply it towards the edges, like the inner edges of your eyelashes towards your waterline. And then you'll go ahead and apply the same glue on your DIY lashes. I used to use the tube one, but I realized that these, um, the mascara looking one, the no fly ultra stick adhesive worked a lot better than the tubes. So I just went ahead and started using just this glue instead of using two glues. I like to work one, one side first. So I'll go ahead and work on my right side first. And I've already applied all the glue and then I'll go ahead and grab the edges. I like to start from the edge, from like the corner side, because it's a lot easier. And to apply them, you're gonna lift up your eye lashes, eyes, <laughs> your eyelids, so that your eyes can open really big. And then you'll just attach it literally n above the waterline, not your waterline, but right above your waterline where the, the edge of the lashes are. And I sometimes make mistakes and I use the tweezer to kind of adjust it all around. And once I feel like one lash is set, I'll go ahead and grab another lash and I will attach it literally right next to it. Sometimes I, I kind of overlap it so that it doesn't look funky. Don't worry about make about the fact that it might look bulky because it won't look bulky at all. I also forgot to mention, you're going to make sure that um, you don't apply immediately. Just wait a little bit so that it the glue itself becomes tacky. Tacky is in sticky on your lashes as well as the, the DIY extension lashes. Because if you don't wait, it's not going to stick to it. So just wait a little bit. Sometimes if you're in a hurry, you can blow on it. Um, I don't think you're supposed to because, you know, bacteria and all that, but I do it. I just blow on it so that um, I can kind of get it done faster. <laughs> and once I apply the lashes, I try to like kind of lift it up a little bit and I wait a little bit to like clamp it together because I want to kind of dry it first. If you clamp it right away, it gets stuck on your tweezer and you'll have to reapply your lashes again. So it's not fun. So I'll go ahead and do the other side and I'll, I'm kind of going really fast with the other side since I already slowed it down on my right side. You'll just see the progress here. As you can see, I've already applied the glue on my natural lashes and now I'm applying it to the DIY extension lashes. And at the very end, I'll go ahead and clamp it with my tweezer. I don't clamp it right away just because I'm, I like to let it sit for just a wee bit to dry and then I'll clamp it. If you do not clamp it, then your lashes will not be secure. So this is a big, big step for you to do. Make sure you do not skip the clamping step. At the very end, after I've clamped all my lashes, I'll go ahead and use the Seal and Glow from 
blinky fly and I'll go ahead and apply it just a wee tiny bit along the lash line um, just so that it will sec be secure and it will stay in place. Again, my favorite lashes from Blinky Fly is called the Kitten, but there's all sorts of different types that you can use for your DIY extension lashes. Again, it lasts about a week. Sometimes you can extend it until 10 days, um, but this is how I apply my lashes. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.